Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're on Season 9. We just started a fresh prestige and we're going to be going through, getting to level 60, see what kind of cool goodies we get. Uh, first off, we are going to start with this Wraith I got. This looks pretty cool. Finishing move that haunts your target for 12 seconds. When it ends or dispels, it heals you for 100% of the direct damage done. So this basically is a little bit of a dot plus damage automatically. Um, and then you're going to get a heal from that. So that might be pretty cool to chain up with some other things. So we'll kind of go like rogue, shadow rogue type build. We also found this. This is pretty cool. Um, reduces target's speed, movement speed by 35 and does damage. So it's a dot and a slow uh, for 10 seconds, 5 second cooldown. So that might be pretty cool. That one is level 36. This one's at level 60. So it's going to be a while. So we're going to start out with probably some rogue abilities. But I got a really cool little thing to show you. A little uh, hack to get your abilities quicker. So I'm just going to select all of these real quick. Uh, we're going to go one by one here. I will just delete the both. So if you have your starter cards, you'll get some starter cards when you start your first character. Um, and you can basically choose what you want to start with instead of re-rolling every four spells and stuff like that. So I think we want to start with... So we're going to start with Sinister Strike, of course, for the uh, Rogue. And then also Storm Strike. I thought that might be a pretty good idea with uh, the dual wields that we're going to do. So once we select those, then we can grab our little dice. And that should give it to us... Um, pretty much instantly. There we go with those two. We can lock those. Um, and then we can either roll around or we can go back there and we can delete these skill cards. And we can just select another one. So if we do that, we re-roll. Oh, that one's 48, so that's not really going to work. This one's level 1 here. So we re-roll and there it is. So it's a nice, easy, quick way to get the skill cards you want. Uh, your starting abilities. And then I also think I should go with probably a finisher. So I think we might just get eviscerate. There we go. We'll lock that in. And I went with charge. I think that would probably be good. I usually build most of my builds for like PvP um, because you get that at level 10 and you can usually have some good XP gains in there. But now we got those. I also wanted to show you this other one I was thinking of. So we're going to go with Wraith here. And I originally was thinking that slow but i also came across something else that might be a little bit better i hear it is gloom blade so this one punctures your target with a shadow infused blade causing 150 percent weapon damage a shadow inflicting gloom blade so it's basically a buff that gives you a chance to do shadow damage so if we could tie that in with the other ability and some other shadow perks or not perks i should say talents um and kind of just get a whole synergy of like a shadow rogue i think that might be a pretty cool little build there and then uh, i'm just gonna see what other Golden cards I have. All right, so I got everything sorted out. We're going to go with Frost Armor, Battle Shout, Gloom Blade, Wraith. And then for Talents, we got Vigor, Relentless Strikes, Combat Experience, Weapon Expertise, Blazing Speed, and Demonic Pact. Um, so nothing's too crazy. We need to get another one of these. Um, this is what I happen to have that I figured would fit in the best. Um, this one is pretty good, the Agility and the Extra Crit. Um, and then the Intellect's not too bad. Um, weapon Expertise is nice. This one's nice. It also happens to be something I just have. Uh, it's really nice in PvP when you get low. And then this guy does extra shadow spell damage. Not huge, 3%, but I had it. I don't really have anything else that would fit very well. So I figured we'd give that a shot. Uh, and we got uh, Sinister Strike, our Storm Strike, Charge, and Abyssary. And uh, we will start leveling up and see what other kind of abilities we get. Hopefully we get some good synergy abilities. All right, boys, oh, we're getting interrupted here. We just hit level 10. Let's see what the first ability we get. Probably one of the ones that we uh, rolled for. Let's see. Oh, yep, there we go. Frost Armor, nice. It's a good start. Turn that on. Take these guys out. You also start getting your talents. Oh, there we go. Vigor. There we go. That was very good. We need a second one, and then we'll really be off the races. I also have to uh, get my enchants to my... Uh, these guys sorted out, because then I can get two or one more of those, so I'll be an extra 20 energy. Uh, it's going to come in handy, especially once we start using some higher energy things. Uh, I did notice a small bug. I don't know if this is um, like an add-on issue or something, but for example, this uh, chest piece, 2 strength, 2 stamina, mines 3 strength, 2 agility, and 7 stamina. But if you look at it, it says minus 15. So I don't really know where that comes from. It says minus 127 armor. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, because that those are not the stats on there. So I'm not sure if it's kind of just bugged out or what's going on. I had this extra add-on, but I turned that one off and it was still doing that, so... Even this one, too, because, like, the damage is different. So I'm not really sure. Uh, we do have this uh, world quest for the prestige. We're going to finish that up. We have to do uh, 25 world quests, which are just regular leveling quests. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to probably start some battlegrounds. All right, we're at level 16. We got a couple of abilities to recuperate. We had to reroll for that a few times. We got men pet, but we don't have a pet. So 
Uh, that one's just going to hang out for now. We're going to hop into our first battleground, see how that goes. Oh, we joined the winning game. That's good. We also got the battle show. Ooh, just slapped him. This guy's getting me, though. Oh, we almost got him. Well, we won, boys. We're doing some pretty good damage. This uh, storm strike hits really hard, but for some reason we're having a lot of issues with the server. I don't know if it's the server or my internet or what's going on, but... Alrighty, boys, we made it to 60. We got our Wraith here. Uh, so far, we also have gotten this Burst of Thorns, a neat little ability. Um, we've been rolling with these main three with Mutilate. That's actually been ripping. Um, the daggers are really good. Slice and Dice, we got Raging Blow. I forgot about this one. Um, we have to get Enraged to use that. This uh, Downpour is really good. It's a, basically a one uh, instant cast heal, as well as a Circle of Life, another heal. I uh, got Flourish, you got this Absolute Zero, it's just like a, a Blizzard Storm that freezes. We have some uh, Defense here, and then heals you, and does damage, that one's pretty cool. We got this Mass Razor Lash, Battle Shout, and the Earth Living, and a couple other random things here and there. A couple things that we have to get rid of, we just opened up all of these, and then we'll also purchase some more. So basically, once you get to 60, if you don't like what you got, um, or if you want to fine tune it, you want to come to one of these guys here, and you're going to use up all these Marks of Ascension. And you're going to get these uh, Scrolls of Fortune. And then these sealed card packs are very important because they give you the skill cards that you will use when you want to start Prestige or uh, start like a new build or something like that. Because this is how you can navigate what you want to start out with and roll for. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, so we're just going to go through and open up all these here. And if you get any extras, the cool thing is it'll fill up this bar and then that will give you a uh, brand new pack. So... You don't lose any ones that you already have, which is definitely nice, especially with the randomness of this. All right, so we went through all the skill card packs. We can use some of these uh, Scrolls of Fortune to re-roll some of the abilities. Um, the best thing is to make sure you're maxed out on all of your skill levels. And then I would come into here and just start clicking off the ones that you don't want. Uh, so, like, for example, I don't really want this Stone Skins totem, so I'm just going to click it and hit Unlearn. And this is going to use a Scroll of Fortune. Now you also have ones for the talents, but you have to be careful because you'll get some, these ones here. You can use either for a talent or a, a spell. So I would do all your spells first and then go to your talent so you don't accidentally do it. Or just pay attention up here, it says scroll of fortune. And then the talent one will stay um, talents. So just be careful with that. You don't want to waste the, all the uh, skills on a talent, especially if you keep getting the same one or something. So we're going to re-roll some of these and then see what we end up with. All right, boys, we're in the temple of Komagu. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, we got all of our abilities leveled up, trained up. Let's see how we do so far. We didn't really get a lot of good abilities, to be honest with you guys. It kind of sucks. Um, we got a lot of random stuff here and there. We got this Mega Frost, which looks pretty cool. It's a stun, a freeze with a combo points. That's pretty cool. Um, a heal, which isn't too bad, and a couple other things here and there. We got a lot of these things, um, but really not a lot. Not a lot that I was expecting. I, was, I did a lot of um, re-rolling and everything, which takes some time sometimes, which I know last season they had that thing to make it a little bit quicker, which was definitely well appreciated. They don't have that this season, so it, it's very gimmicky in terms of you get lucky sometimes and sometimes you don't. So um, I guess we can... Oh, wow, we just got destroyed. We'll see how, how this goes, see if we can do any damage. Up to level 60, we were doing pretty good, um, especially with this Mutilate, it was doing a lot of damage. And then um, being able to just heal with this downpour, the downpour was doing a lot. And then usually I would use a flourish and a recuperate to uh, keep myself topped up. And then basically cycle mutilate and uh, my viscerate. But I want to try out this wraith, see how that works out. If it's any good, uh, it says 100% of damage dealt. Okay. And then, so it's going to do maybe about a thousand damage and then plus a little bit every few seconds. So let's see how that does. That boy you guys got shrekt. Um, we are winning this one, which is pretty cool, but I feel like I'm going to get mobbed right up here unless we get in the action. Ooh. Oh, wow, they're doing the mob. All right. Now, I'm silenced, but I have to... Ooh, I can send it out, so it's kind of like a death coil. And let's see, we got... I think it was that one, 20. <laughs> I, have to, I have to pay more attention to that. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, this is Mike Scroll and Battletechs. Uh, MSBT for short. So you can see all the battle techs, you can customize it, how long, what effects and stuff like that. There's buffs right there. 
um, damage that you do to your enemy, as well as like slows, stuff like that, and then your heals, absorptions. Really nice to kind of see what's going on without getting mobbed by 50 people. Alright, so there goes the Wraith. Ooh, that was pretty cool. 450 in damage. That was really weak. But I don't think we have a lot of um, PvP power. I think we're still mainly PvE just from leveling. Yeah, so we might be able to do a little bit better against like a boss or something. You know? Maybe we'll hit up the Mana Storm. Alright, we're hopping into the Mana Storm here. We start out on level 16. Uh, the only thing that sucks about Mana Storm, you have to make sure you put on early buffs and stuff. Things that you don't normally have to uh, turn on. You have to make sure you turn those on. Um, so let's see how this goes. I'm thinking we're going to be doing better in here since it's uh, PvE. I was going to do a 1v1 arena, but you have to have like 250 PvP power. And I don't think I have any, so we will give this a shot. The only caveat is we don't really have any AoE. We had uh, a bleed and uh, thunderclap. We're healing from a lot. I think that's just a talent that we have, though. Oh, here's the boss. Let's see. Ooh, uh, 2,000 of that Wraith. That was pretty good. Uh, we can also... Where is... We hit him with that. That's a freeze. Let's see. I don't know if he's going to freeze him since uh, he's a mechanical. Or and because he's a boss, too. But we have a lot of uh, self-healing, which is definitely cool. Eh, decent damage. Definitely nothing to be bragging about. Around 800. Um, but yeah, the only caveat about this, uh, is the complete randomness, especially with the talents now, you can't even, like, kind of build what you got, you gotta just completely randomize it. I was going through the Discord a little bit, and a lot of people are saying similar aspects. It's still fun, still a lot of stuff you can do, but definitely a little bit less, uh, skill involved. Alright, let's get him, boys. Definitely got some nice crits, though, popping off. Uh, with a little bit of a better rotation around 1200 that's a little bit better uh, the good thing about this build is uh the energy regen is really good i know i think i have some stuff for crits that gives me a little extra that comes in handy I think I'm still rocking daggers too, because I think you need those for the uh, mutilate. Another good thing about the mana storm is you get these scrolls, and this is how you can get a lot of these uh, extra REs, these random enchants. All right, boys, we're on the last of level 30 here. It's really not too hard. You kind of just have to pay attention to what's going on, because a lot of the times you'll get things that like rain, fire, or lightning, or or cane down on you, and end up getting a lot of damage from that. But other than that, the bosses and the enemies really aren't too bad. It's just watching out, not standing the stuff. I'm doing decent damage here. I usually pop a couple of these extra things on the boss just to take him down a little bit quicker. And that little shadow rogue hybrid that we got going here. He's over here having a seizure. Here we go. Sweet. So that is level 30 of the Mana Storm. I'm going to hop out so I can sell some of my stuff. Oh, we also got a uh, cache there. Sweet. And this also gives you lots of these card packs. Make sure you use up all those so when you prestige, you have all these things ready to go. Ooh, this looks cool. Uh, this is basically where you want to get to so you can get these packs, get more marks, buy more packs, and then that's how you unlock all the cool new abilities, all the special abilities, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, yeah, so that is... Wow, that's pretty beasty. Um, that is a little bit of the new season here with the prestige, a little bit of some of the abilities... Uh, how to play a little bit a little bit of a guide and the new things like the mana storm so if you like don't forget to like hit that subscribe button i appreciate it comment down below if you'd like to see me try for any other kind of builds or anything like that and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching